Hi, Rosa Pomiga here on Gant Crafty. I am excited to show you today's tutorial because it's something that everybody should have, especially if you have sunglasses. Okay, so we're going to be making this cute sunglass case and you can mix your colors as you want. I think I like this brown and yellow mustard much better. Anyway, this is an easy pattern to make. You might only have a hiccup somewhere around here, but the pattern shows you exactly what you need to do. So don't fret. I'm with you all the way. Also, before we begin this tutorial, I'd love for you to subscribe to Yan Crafty, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything that we share on here, and give us a like and comment as well. What more would you like to see on Yan Crafty? And we'll get it across to you. All right, let's dive in. This pattern uses 100% cotton worsted weight yarn. This is Drop Spurry color 41 and this is color 44 i got these on etsy and uh you can use a four millimeter uh, a four millimeter hook scissors and tapestry needle all right now you can also use a 4.5 millimeter hook the only thing is one is going to be wider than the other this uses a 4.5 millimeter hook and this is a four millimeter hook i personally prefer the one with the four millimeter hook because it's just um, it's just a perfect size that i can fit the sunglasses uh, into so if you have a much wider bigger sunglass then maybe you might want to use a four millimeter hook but this is just perfect for the size of uh, normal standard sunglasses Now we're going to start with foundation stitches. We're going to start with FSC. If you don't know how to do that, please uh, check out the the, uh, the description, and there is a link to that to know how to get to do the foundation single crochet. We're going to FSC twenty four. That is foundation single crochet twenty four. So this is FSC 24. Now we are going to work at the bottom here because we're working in around. Okay. So at this very in this very this very last single crochet at the base here, we're going to make two single crochets. Now we're going to make our single crochets into 22 stitches. So we're working at the bottom directly under the single crochets. Twenty-two single crochets done. Now we have one last stitch here, which is this very first single crochet we began with. At the base of that, we're going to make two single crochets. Okay, once that, once that is done, we're going to join into the very first single crochet at the beginning. I'm going to carry these tails. Because I really dislike weaving in tails. So as much as I can, I try to just um, carry them in the work. Okay, that's done. Round two. I'm going to chain one and make two single crochets into the first stitch. We should have 51 uh, stitches on round one. Into the very first stitch, two single crochets. Okay, now we're going to make single crochet into 22 stitches. So in the next stitch, I go make a single crochet. Now we're going to make two single crochets each into the next three stitches, one, two, three. So that means we're going to have six single crochets on here. 
two single crochets, two single crochets, two single crochets. Now I'm going to make another uh, row of si uh, single crochet in 22 stitches. 22 single crochets and now we have two stitches left. Now two single crochets. Pardon, we have three stitches. Yeah, two stitches, yes. Because we our first stitch was uh, on this very first, on this other side, the very first stitch here. So two single crochet and two single crochet into the next stitch as well. I'm going to pick up uh, color B. I'm going to finish off this last single crochet with color B because I want this to be, I want the transitions to be neat. See here, you can't really tell where I am joining unless you take a very good look. That's because every time I'm, I end the row, I end it with the, if I need to change color, I end it with the color, the new color. So it just makes the transition really neat and um, good. All right, once that's done, now we're gonna join into the very first single crochet. One, I have one here and I have two here. Okay, because it's a slip stitch, it's a chain one. Join into the first single crochet. All right, okay, we're joining now. Good. So from here on, there is no more, uh, we're not increasing anymore. We're just going to be working single stitches. Round three, chain three. Pardon, chain two. Count us the first uh, double crochet on this round. Double crochet into the next stitch. And the next as well. So we have three double crochets now because our chain two also counts as one double crochet. Now we're going to make single crochet into three stitches. Double crochet into three stitches. Okay, I'm going to repeat this uh, single crochet in three stitches, double crochet in three stitches. I'm going to repeat it two more times. Now single crochet in, now uh, single crochet in three stitches. Double crochet in seven stitches. Okay, we're gonna go back and repeat this um, sequence here. So single crochet in three stitches. Double crochet in three stitches. Repeat this sequence three times. Single crochet in three stitches, double crochet in three stitches. Repeat it again two more, uh, two more times. 
once you've done all that, so you have uh, one, two, three, three sets of uh, three SC, three DC. Uh, now we're gonna make the last three single crochets. Three single crochet, and now double crochet into the remaining four stitches. Why are we making four double crochet stitches here when we made seven here? Because remember that we have three double crochets here already. So plus this four is seven. Now finish off your double crochet with the uh, with the second color with color A. And join to the top of chain two. I'm gonna carry this with me as well. Just gonna make everything neater on the inside too. Okay, heading on to round four. So, uh, round four is a is a repeat of round three. The only difference is we're gonna be starting with a single crochet instead of double crochet. So we're gonna start with our chain one and single crochet into the very first stitch, into the top of our chain two, three single crochets. So what this means is the stitches are reversed. Where you have DC, you make SC. Where you have SC, you make DC. So now these are the three single, three single crochets. We're gonna make double crochets over them. Three double crochets. Three single crochets. Right. So repeat that sequence. Three double crochets. Three single crochets. Two more times. Once that's done, once you have three sets of DC, SC, DC, SC, uh, our last three will be three double crochets. And now we're going to make seven single crochets. Once that's done, we'll start again with double crochet, three double crochets. Three single crochets. Repeat this sequence two more times. Three double crochet, three single crochets. Repeat it two more times. So that's done. Three double crochets. And four single crochets. up finish off and join to the very first stage all right so what we're gonna do here from now on is to repeat what we've done on round three and round four so our next round will be chain two and uh, Two double crochets over the over the double crochet we make single crochets uh -uh, uh, like that at the at the edge here we make seven stitches so if you have single crochet here that means you make seven double crochet on top of it and when we end here we will make four stitches on here to complete with the three we have here already okay so go ahead and repeat um, row two pattern 
round three and round four. Repeat it up to the eighth uh, up to the eighth round. So once we are on round eight, we're gonna repeat round three again. And now I'm ending with four double crochets. Finish the last one with the next color and join into the top of chain two. Okay, from here now we'll chain one and single crochet in three stitches. double crochet in three stitches so we're going to repeat that across not around we're not working around this time we're working in rows because we we want to uh, create this this part of the case so repeat that uh, three single crochet across a uh, three double crochet in three stitches so and three double crochets over the single crochet stitches and three single crochets over the double crochet stitches okay once we have four repeats of three three double crochet three single crochet repeated four times now in this last stitch here, we will make one more single crochets. So basically we're having four single crochets here and we will make a slip stitch into the next stitch. And turn. So this uh, last single crochet that we made well, now we're heading on to round 11 we're gonna pattern row 11 we're gonna skip this first stitch here and double crochet in three stitches now we're doing double crochet over the single crochet And single crochet over the double crochet stitches. Repeat that across three double crochet, three single crochet, three double crochet, three single crochet. And after that, after the last three single crochets, we have uh, we still have three single crochets left. Okay, so we'll make two double crochets. We have one more single crochet here. Okay, remember we had three when we started. So we have one one left here. We're going to skip that and then into this into this slip stitch here. Right from when we ended uh round round uh nine. Okay, go in there and slip stitch with the second color. turn so what we did is make two double crochets and skip the last the last stitch which is a single crochet and we joined with we slip stitched into the slip stitch from round nine okay moving on it 
it might help to have a stitch marker so that you know which are your last stitches okay so we have two double crochets here I'm going to skip the first double crochet and make a single crochet into the next stitch now we're going to repeat the sequence three double crochet over the single crochets three single crochet over the double crochet stitches repeat that across all right so once we've completed three sets of uh, 3dc 3sc so one two three we'll make another uh, 3dc we have three stitches left here one two three okay so we're gonna work two single crochets we will skip we will skip the last stitch which is this and remember we have our slip stitch we made a slip stitch into this stitch at uh, at bottom here now we're going to go into the next stitch and join make a slip stitch in the next stitch now turn so we're going to skip the first stitch the first single crochet stitch here and we'll do one double crochet double crochet because for alternating it will make single crochet on double crochet and double crochet on single crochet okay now we're gonna repeat again three single crochets three double crochets repeat across so once we uh, walk all the way on row 13 we have our last three single crochets we are skipping this stitch the first stitch from row uh, 12 and we're gonna uh, join now so we're gonna slip stitch into the next into this and this we're gonna slip stitch uh, in these two stitches at the bottom All right. Once that is done, turn. And round uh, 14. So we're slip stitching with the color with the other second color. Skip the very first stitch and make two double crochets. Okay, now we'll repeat that sequence. Three single crochet, three double crochet across. We'll repeat that sequence two times. Three single crochet, three double crochet. Okay, so we're repeating this three times, actually three sets. Uh, after the two double crochet, and then three SC, three DC, one, two, three, three times. Now we have this last stitch here, this double crochet we made on round 14, the first um, double crochet. Now we're gonna finish off this row. We're going to skip the uh, slip stitch into this next stitch and slip stitch into the bottom right there, the stitch that's um, available, the next available stitch. And turn. We're going to skip the very first stitch, <coughs> excuse me, and single crochet in two stitches. Repeat the sequence, 3DC, three, 3SC, three 3DC, three, 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 three double crochet, two pattern, 3 double crochet, 3 single crochets. Okay, once we are done with the, the row, so we started with uh, by skipping the first stitch, two single crochets, and then we made the set three DC, three SC, three DC, three SC twice, and then we have the three DC last three double crochets. Now we have two stitches left here. The two double crochets we began with, and we're gonna make one 
single crochet skipping the last one and we're going to join slip stitch slip stitch into the previous stitch into the previous uh, stitch we go in and make a slip stitch that is the previous uh, the previous stitch where we joined and in the next stitch we'll also go in there as well and join all right so now we're on to the very last row row 17 row 17 skip the first stitch which is a single crochet and uh, single crochet into the next three single crochets and three double crochets so repeat that sequence across so on the last stitches we have two stitches left here so double crochet into one of them because these are single crochet stitches both of them and we will slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the bottom stitch and that's it we're done Thank you for watching today's tutorial and I hope you get to make one. When you do, don't be shy. Share with me with hashtag Yankrafty on Instagram and Facebook. i love to see your version and share it as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Yankrafty. Like, comment, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything we share on here. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.